Okay, so when we come to starting the practice chanter, uh, we always want to make sure that your fingers are nice and straight. We don't want them curled up like this, as if you're playing a recorder or a tin whistle. You need to make sure your hands are as nice and straight as possible like mine. Okay, I've got nice straight fingers, okay? So, depending on which hand you write with, so whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it would depend on which hand you put on the bottom. Uh, so, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my right hand on the bottom. Similarly, if I was left-handed, I would put my left hand on the bottom and then use the opposite hand on the top. So, working from the bottom up to the fourth hole on the chanter, not this one, the one just at the, under on top of the sole. So, we're going to take my right hand just now and put my right pinky on the bottom one, my right hand ring finger, as I call it, on the second uh, hole up from that, then my middle finger on the third hole, and then my right index finger on the fourth hole, okay? So we'll worry about the thumb in a minute. So your fingers should hopefully look something like this, okay? Nice and straight, okay? So, and then to support the chanter, we're going to put my right thumb just underneath my fourth finger, okay? And make sure that you don't grip the chanter too tightly. You don't want to have too much of a strain on your hand. Otherwise, you'll get a repetitive strain injury or cause yourself damage long term. And we don't want that. Be nice and relaxed, okay? So... We're now going to bring in the other hand, okay? So again, not having your fingers like this, nice and straight. So, we don't tend to use your uh, pinky on your other hand for piping, we don't tend to do that. So it tends to be, or it will be, your ring finger on your left hand, your middle finger, your left index finger, and your left thumb that you bring in, okay? So, going again, one finger at a time. So your ring finger on your left hand, that goes there. Okay, so the next hole up. So make sure as well that you're using, you'll see your, your uh, fingers are split into three. So one, two, three, okay? So you're going to use that top uh, pad there, okay? Your fingers are generally split into pads, okay? So use the top pad for there. And I should say as well, to use, apart from your pinky, which is the top one, on your right hand, you use these pads here. So one, so it's the second one, second one, on this one, and the second one, okay? So, go back to the left hand. So, ring finger here, then my window finger on the next one up, then my pointing finger on my left hand, so it should sit like that, okay? And then you'll notice at the back, if you turn your chant around, there's also a small hole here. So you need to make sure that your thumb goes on like that, and make sure it goes on like so, nice and straight, okay? Don't try and curl it or do anything like this. Just sit it on nice and straight. Uh, but just firm enough you're able to hold it, but not so tight that you're gripping it and you're feeling pain in your hands, okay? And then after that, you should be able to do this. Okay? And that's how you hold a practice channel.